Hey everybody, this is Spine Ticks Pressing and I've got something different for you today. Today I've got a product review. I've got the Red Shell comic book storage container that I'm going to review for you. So stay tuned as I take a look and open it up. All right, everybody. Hey, we here at Spine Ticks Pressing are committed to helping you have a better comic book collecting experience. And part of that, I think, is to review different products that could make your life easier and make your collection more enhanced. So one of them I've got here is a Red Shell storage container for comic books. This is a product that is sold on Amazon. And I'll put a screenshot here for you so you can see what it looks like on Amazon. And essentially this product replaces a short box. So my initial impressions are some of these uh, little different designs are kind of cool. This is nice. It's got a little uh, display area where you could put on the side of your box what you've got in the collection inside. It's got, looks like a sturdy bottom. Uh, trying to bend it. It feels really rigid. I would say this is a, definitely like a hard plastic inside. It's really rigid. I'm trying, I'm bending it really hard and I'm getting no movement. Let's try this way. Got a little bit of bend, but it's, it's definitely not cardboard. Uh, my initial impressions of the outer box, I like the fabric. This is something different. I've always used a short box or a long box. I have more long boxes than I have short boxes. Uh, but this is different. I wanted to see what one of these cloth style collection containers would be like. One of these storage boxes would be like. Really easy setup. I mean, it just, this thing just folds right up like so. This one, uh, it advertises itself as waterproof. And I've got to be honest, it's this is pretty sturdy. It's pretty durable. I, I really do think I like this product. The inside of the book, uh, the book storage area, does not feel the same as the outside of the box. This definitely has kind of a waxy coating on it. So I would definitely uh, believe that this is waterproof. The very bottom inside... You can sort of see right there, it's also this waxy material, but it feels stronger than the, the sides, almost like a latex or a strong plastic. And then you can see on the bottom, when I open it up, it's, it's a different uh, material, it's a fabric. So it must be this fabric coated with some type of waterproof material. Uh, the stitchings on the side, where the handles are look really good, uh, really well done. Doesn't look cheap or feel cheap in any way. Uh, it's definitely different than a short box. So I'm gonna put the bottom in like so. And it's definitely improved the rigidity of this box. I'm putting pressure on the top. I really do feel on the inside that there is some type of plastic on the inside of the fabric. Now as I go to close the box lid, uh, there are these little flaps that pop out. There is no Velcro or securing material to hold the box down, but the box top does feel really sturdy. Uh, all in all, the designs are kind of they're kind of clever. They're kind of a, like throwback to old school comics. Um, I think I would prefer something, you know, if this had, say, like, you know, kind of the Kirby um, Kapows that, that we're used to seeing in some of the Silver Age books that he did. I think that would be slick. Maybe that stuff is, uh, is copywritten and he can't use it. But uh, all in all, this is a pretty good little product. It's not very expensive. I think, um, you know, uh, for just a nice little small short box, this is a pretty good product. So the books that I've got inside the case, uh, these are uh, silver uh, sized bags and backing boards. 
and they fit really nicely. There's a little bit of space on the side. Um, all in all, I think this is a pretty good product. Uh, I definitely think I would recommend this product to you. It's a, you know, pretty inexpensive. I think this was $15. Very durable, waterproof material. It's got some nice aesthetics to it. Yeah, all in all, I think uh, I've got to give this one thumbs up. I think this is a pretty good product. So this is Spine Ticks Pressing. I'm recommending the Redfin comic book storage box for your comic needs. It's on Amazon as I speak. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Uh, I was a little skeptical. thought it was pretty cheap uh, cost-wise. And I uh, thought it might be uh, really cheaply made. But this is definitely not cheaply made. I feel like it's pretty durable. I like the straps. I like these carrying straps. And uh, it's nice to see uh, a waterproof interior. So uh, if you're looking for a short box, I really recommend this one to you. I think this is a good product. So check it out on Amazon. Hey, if you've made it this far, please give me a like and a subscribe. I would love to have you as a regular viewer. And I want you to take a look at this video right here on this screen. This is a link to my latest giveaway. And there's going to be multiple opportunities for you to win. So I hope you check out that video. Check out the information about my giveaway. And happy hunting.